Good morning, artists. Remember how a couple weeks ago we learned about Islamic art and the repeated geometric patterns that appear in a lot of Islamic tile work? Well, today I'm going to pick up where we left off and I'm going to talk to you about an art term called tessellation. Tessellation. It's fun to say. Tessellation is a word that means the arrangement of shapes with no gaps between them in a repeated pattern. So a lot of the examples we looked at a few weeks ago of the mosaics and ceiling tiles and decorative art on buildings are really good examples of tessellation. But it doesn't have to be non-figurative or abstract. It doesn't just have to be geometric shapes. There's an artist called M.C. Escher who has lots of really good examples of tessellation where he uses animals or people and he creates different shapes with the negative space so that they just go on forever and ever without any gaps. Pretty cool. But I'm gonna start us off a little bit more simply and I'm gonna show you an activity that you can do to tessellate your own shapes. Now ideally, if you were going to tessellate circle shapes, it would be better to have a compass. This is a compass and you might have used this in school before. It has a point right here and you twist this part and it's for tracing perfect circles. I find them really, really difficult to use and it takes practice to get good at just like anything. But I'm guessing most of us probably don't have these just sitting around their house. But you can do this activity with something that you probably do have around the house. Old CDs. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't even have a way to play CDs anymore. The new car that I got doesn't even have a CD player. It's all digital now. So I've got all these old CDs that are just collecting dust, but they're really good for tracing. So for this activity, there's just three materials that we're going to need. We're going to need a piece of paper, a CD for tracing, and something to trace with, a pencil probably. The first thing I'm going to do is trace my CD in the middle of my paper. And then I'm going to put the pencil right in that center little hole and try to find the center of the circle as best I can. Just use that little peephole. And then I'm going to slide the CD up and make one circle on the bottom of that dot and one circle on the top of that dot. Like that. Now I'm going to find where there's an X on the paper. You see that X there? I'm going to make a circle over the X point. Now I'm finding another X on the other side. Centering my hole in the middle of that X and making another tracing line. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do this one. See how this kind of looks like a beach ball now that all these intersecting lines are happening? Just keep looking for the X's and tracing them. And that will give you the lines to repeat. Like that. It's pretty fun and it's pretty satisfying once you start seeing all these shapes emerge on your paper. Okay, now I'm going to add some color because my living room is kind of boring and it needs some color, so I'm going to hang this up. I'm not going to color in all these shapes solidly. I'm going to do some shading techniques and kind of leave the middle white. Maybe I'll add some color there in a little bit. Kind of like the floral kind of look. They sort of look like petals if I colored them that way. Just something I was playing with. You might want to try something different. And it's kind of fun to use patterns with the colors that you choose too. So here I have a green, purple, blue, green kind of repetition. And I tried to pick colors that I thought would contrast really nicely and create like a really cool eye-popping effect. So I put dark colors next to light colors, contrasting pink and green, that kind of thing. And if I had to describe this art process in one word, I'd say satisfying. Tessellating and coloring your patterns is just really satisfying. It feels really good. Thus concludes my example. If this sounds like a fun activity that you would like to try, awesome. If you want to try some other activity or if you just want to experiment making your own shapes and patterns with the CD, you can and should do that. The most important thing is that you're taking some time out of your day to exercise your creative muscles and that you're having a good time doing it. Whatever you make, please upload it by hitting that add response button and you can share it with me either as a video or a photo so that I can see and comment. Have a great time creating and I look forward to seeing what you made.